back again, back again, back again. Y-L-E, facts. Young living every day, delivering the facts for sure. Now today, man, I'm gonna talk about the reason why I say that I'm gonna go abroad and be like 80% occupied in South America. Now, I don't know if that'd be Colombia or Peru, Lima, you know. Um, the reason I say that is because if you look what's going on in the States, let me get this, get this right, y'all. The reason I say that is because if you look at what's going on in the States, man, you just look up and see, there we go. You look up and see what's going on in the States. Now, as you look in the States, you know, you can clearly see, like, the narrative that they, you know, that, that Western society is pushing. You know, it's, it's, it's like, it, you can see they slowly but surely working to emasculate the man or take away the man roles. All the superheroes you got, I mean, now, I'm not sure it's concrete, but I'm hearing it's supposed to be a female 007. Come on. A female hawk, a she-hawk. Next thing you know, it's going to be a female Spider-Man. There's going to be a female Batman. Dude, like, no. You know what I'm saying? Like, these roles are male roles for a reason. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like they're trying to push this narrative to sell, you know, um, em emasculating the man. Then next thing you know, all right, we already got vice president is what? A female. Women already think they're better than mass majority of men, right? So if a woman already looking at you like you ain't nothing if you make $50,000 a year or less, what do you think they're going to think of you when a woman becomes the president? What do you think they're going to think of you then? I'll tell you what they're going to think of you. They won't even look at you as a man then. You won't even exist to them as you already don't. You know what I'm saying? Just certain things like that just, you know, the way society holds men responsible for not going out and creating value in this world. But at the same time, they don't hold women accountable and responsible for their actions as well. They allow women to go out, displaying all this bad girl behavior and still be accepted the way they is. Men can't be accepted as is. You can't sit around, be a fat ass and eat foods that make you gain a lot of weight, McDonald's and Burger King all day long and be lazy, you'll never get, you'll never get a bad bitch. It'll never happen. You'll never get an extremely hot chick, beautiful, whatever you want to call it. It will never happen. But they got all these social conventions that allow women to and lie to them and tell them they can be accepted the way they is. No, you cannot. No, you cannot. You know, no. And that's the problem that I'm having because they hold men accountable, but they allow women to do what they want to do. You know what I'm saying? Now, if you're not holding women accountable, then guess what's going to happen with the inflated ego? It comes delusion. You see what I'm saying? Because they know they can get away with everything. And that's the problem. Go to the Middle East somewhere, over in one of the Arab countries. They not having that. No, women can't do all that over there. Any Arab let you know, haram, yeah. You can't get away with that over there, buddy. Nope. So, stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? Where, okay, she want this guy, you want a top tier dude? You want to do this, you know, six feet tall, attractive, in shape, like myself, ambitious, successful, great leader. As Steph is cold would say, a big digging stick, and then you want him to fuck good too? He's supposed to have all these qualities, check off all these boxes for you, and then you can just come to the table and be accepted as is. Bullshit. Not going to happen. Not in my world. No. But that's you got all these social conventions that allow this bullshit. And that's the reason why I'm going to be 80% occupied over in another country. That shit is just, I can just see where the world's going already. You know what I'm saying? 
they giving them the right and the freedom to go out here and do what they want to in a world that was built by man. Now, I'm not here to try to destroy women and hate them and all that stuff, but it's just they need to be held accountable for their actions, man. That's just how it is. You want this top tier guy to meet all these qualities? Well, guess what? When we become, become successful, go out in this world and create and add value, guess what? We got, we got some um, expectations. We got standards too. You want that top tier dude? I want a top tier woman. Beautiful, feminine, cooperative, fit, provide peace, and loyal. And I don't know how everybody take loyal, but loyalty is a big word for me. I ain't talking about what everybody else talking about. When I say loyal, I mean ain't nobody going to be able to fuck my girl. That kind of loyal, nigga. I don't give a fuck how much money he got. I don't care how much status he got. I don't care how easy on the eyes he is to women. He can't, he can't bake my girl. Say she mine. Because guess what? By the time she is, I already done put her through the fire or up to the test. I don't care. And if you fail, you will not prevail. Not in my world. You know what I'm saying? So I say that. Though, okay, if you if she got all these standards, then I got standards too. We got standards too. We don't want no fat girls. We don't want no masculine ass females. We don't want no combative ass women. I want a beautiful, cooperative, fit, feminine, friendly girl that's loyal, provide peace, and to shut the fuck up. And I don't mean in a disrespectful way. That's just what it is. I don't mean that in a disrespectful way. But somebody who ain't going to be blah, 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 combative and talking back, yelling and screaming. We not create, we not tolerating all that masculine energy. Not my world. No, no, no. Not over here. If you a sap, you a simp, yeah, you might put up with that shit. But guess what? Over here, wildly facts. Young living every day, delivering them facts for sure. No, buddy, not in this world. Mm -mm. Best believe, I'm not going for that. I don't have, it's not, a, my body would allow any of that to happen. I don't work hard, get in shape, look this good for nothing. You think I'm going to tolerate that? Yeah. <laughs> she be in for a rude awakening. She be woken up like a false alarm, nigga. Not this guy over here. Mm -mm. So that's the reason why I say, you know, building a world for myself and then I'm going overseas because I see where it's going to go. And when a woman, like I said before, when a woman becomes the president of the United States, it's really going to get worse. It's getting worse and worse by the day. And guess who ain't going to be living in the States to deal with that shit? Me. <laughs> nah, I'm going to go over there with guess what? Before I go, I'm going to create a life for myself. I'm going to become who I want to become, the best version of myself. It ain't just running over there. Complaining, no, 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 no. I'm gonna be the guy here. Don't get it twisted. I get I get play over here. I just don't take them serious because they're not girlfriend material. A lot of these girls want the title, but they aren't worthy of it. They don't embody the qualities needed to be set girlfriend or set wife. So why would I take you serious? I just play the game. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I know there's a lot of things, but guess what? Long as some respect around, some com communication. Yeah, tap them sugar walls. Yeah, buddy. Mm-hmm. That's the basics. But I ain't trying to wife you. So, that's why I say what I say, man, because when, and once you become successful, all they do is put a mask on. Put a mask right over their face. And guess what you got this? Conditional femininity. This condition cooperation. Conditional cooperation. It's all an act. Because you got the lifestyle they want, so they put the mask on and act. And then when they get you where they want to, then they start revealing themselves when they get comfortable. That's why it's important to have a vetting process. Some people say at least a year. On Fresh and Fit, they say at least a year. Me, bare minimum a year and a half, man. More likely two, three years. Because I got I to gotta pull you, I got to drag you through the ring. I got to pull you through the fire. I need to see who you is. You know what I'm saying? Um... Yeah, so that's why I say that, man. Over there, guess what you got? Women, like I told you, I have a cousin over there. He's been there three years. Over there, guess what they are? Naturally, natu con unconditional femininity. 
fit, co cooperative, beautiful, appreciative, respectful. You know what I'm saying? It's a culture, nurturing. It's a culture for them to be that way. They are conditioned to be that way. It's natural. I don't know how many times I didn't talk to my cousin on the phone. He got a woman naturally doing that for him. Massages, all that other stuff. That's natural. He don't have to ask for that. She could automatically see he went out into the world and, and went out and added value. And guess what? When he come back, his peace, massages, nurturing, cooking, anything that he possibly needs that she can provide, she going to do that. That's natural over there. So when I become the best version of myself and I create a world for myself that I want, a life for myself that I want, guess what? I'm going to get the best thing I can get for the byproduct of my hard work. And guess what that's going to be? A unconditional, feminine, respectful, cooperative, beautiful, sweet woman. South America. There's, other, there's, there's a lot of other places too. Some places in Europe. I'm hearing Asia. Philippines, Thailand, you know, I dealt with Philippine women before. Very sweet, very cooperative, you know what I'm saying? Women, absolutely. It's other spots. South America, that's where I'm going to be at. I'm just saying, get the best bang you can get for your buck, man. That's all I'm saying. And that's what I'm going to do. You know what I'm saying? It's not, I don't know about all these other, I hear content creators, oh, man, he's going over there trying to, do this to these girls and these nah not me i'm getting grown women that on top of their stuff over there you know i have to see that there has been some level of discipline in handling business over there i ain't i don't want no top tier girl to make a whole bunch of money i'm not looking for all that masculine energy nah you know what i'm saying but it's got to be a proof of concept and there's some good women over there you know what i'm saying so that's what I, that's my reason for going over there, I'm gonna get the best bang for my buck. That's just the truth. And over there, guess what? It's a lot less GMO foods and stuff like that. They make a lot of their stuff from scratch, natural. They do a lot of walking. So guess what? It's a lot less um, obese women over there. The population of obesity is, is a lot slimmer than it is in the States. You know what I'm saying? So what I find crazy is that these women got less resources over in South America than the women do in the States, but yet they in more in better shape. Ain't that crazy? Beautiful. I'm talking about two times better than the girl that I act feminine for you. Two times, five times more submissive than a girl that I act. You know what I'm saying? So that's my reason for it. When you just look at the world and what they doing, they don't hold these women accountable for the bad girl behavior. And then after a man go out, bust his ass, create, become the best version of himself, you want a, you want a man to accept a girl that's a hoe. We don't want no girl that's a hoe. You're a fucking liability. Just like you don't want no broke dude because he a liability because he don't have the right to provide security and protection for you. Guess what? We don't want no girl that's a bad bet. But that's, that can potentially ruin our brand. A hoe? Because when you're going in here dealing with these big time people and you're locking arms and you're talking about some money, let's say you create something that's very, you know, some software that's very unique and you lock arms with Apple or something and y'all about, about to go 50 50 with this partnership to, you know, take this thing to the next level. Before they put their money into you, best believe they going to do their research, they digging deep and they going to look. And if they see you got a woman like that, that's going that's what that would do. That would spill over into their brand. They gonna pull out. They gonna pull it, they gonna pull a deal off the table. That woman can cost you hundreds of millions of dollars, hundreds of thousands of dollars, man, just because of her bad decision making. And they want you to accept that. You, you know how hard it is a very small percentage of men that earn a hundred thousand dollars at that. Right? And that ain't even enough for some of these girls. You want top tier dudes, the lifestyle, that is a very small percentage of men. It's going to come with some things. They want these things, but they don't know what they signed up for. And a lot of them don't have the skills, don't embody the skills to retain that kind of guy. 
Okay, you want that top tier dude? Cool. We want purity. Oh, then that's that's followed with bashing and shame language. You know what I'm saying? That's when they get mad when you say you want a woman to got a low body count. Well, every girl got bodies on them. Uh, well, most of them do, not every girl. That's a part of the world. Guess what? We got to work hard. That man that you want, that's 0.001 percentage, that's a hard guy to get. But guess what? <clears throat> you want that top tier dude? You need to be a top tier girl. And your body count is really attached to your sexual markets value as a woman. Yes, it is. Keep your fucking legs closed. Reserve your body, your value. Reserve your beauty. Reserve your feminine energy. Reserve your, cooper your cooperation. Excuse me. Absolutely. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard getting that kind of guy. It's hard becoming that kind of guy. So we got to go out and be up and beyond to be top tier. Guess what? We want top tier women that are good bets for relationships and wives. Absolutely. You cannot be in a relationship and still, or be married. You want to you want to use his resources, his time, and then still exercise the right to be single, going overseas and going on girls trips going to the club and doing and displaying all these bad girl activities that are conducive to what? Cheating. Bad mothers, bad wives, bad girlfriends. No, you got to pick and choose. You cannot have both, baby. You want to be single? Go out, be single. Party till your motherfucking kneecaps collapse. Go ahead. But guess what? When Father Time take that motherfucking beauty away from your ass, <laughs> and you no longer have the plethora of options you had before, that's your, that's something you got to deal with. It's pros and cons. You make that decision. That's on you. Go out and party your years away. When your beauty gone and you don't got the same negotiating power, guess what? That's on you. You're going to have to settle. That's your problem. And I just find it so crazy how it was a girl on TikTok. Well, it was a lot of girls on TikTok. A few girls. I ain't going to say a lot. And they just, and they talked about, um, being, you know, they wanted to be, some of them wanted to be housewives or reserving a feminine energy and being cooperative and all this. And a lot of women that's whores and all these feminists gave them, you know, shame language, trying to trash them and all this other stuff because they mad. And that same girl is going to be the same girl who's going to lock down a top tier dude. Those girls that are on there displaying that kind of behavior, that's feminine, cooperative, and want to be wives and stuff like that and reserving their, their youth and their beauty, they're going to be wives. All the ones that shaming them girls and feminists, they're old as hell and single. Look at mass majority of top tier girls that are higher earners. They're single, man. They're not married. Very masculine. Go check out Monique. Monique was whining about it. You know what I'm saying? The, the, the female comedian, go, go look at her. Regret, guess what she did? Put her career first. I know women like that. They put their career first and they man stepped out on them or they man's in them leaving them. Yeah. It always sound cool in the beginning. You know what I'm saying? When they go out, choose the money first. And then when they get old, they hit the wall and they don't have them options available no more. That's when reality sink in. But guess what? It's too late at that point. You blew it like a birthday candle. Huh. See, when they're young, they don't think about that. They live in a the moment. They don't have a logical way of viewing things. They are slaves to their emotions. So it's all fun when you're young. But when those options start to go get smaller and smaller, that pool of potential suitors gets smaller and smaller, it's going to start hitting you. By the time, going to take that beauty away. Yeah. You know, and that's the reason why all of these things that I'm naming to you are reasons why I will be overseas because all that shit is allowed over here. See, over there, they are held accountable for their actions. Men are leaders. You know what I'm saying? Men are dominant. Men, men are providers over there. And I'm not saying all, but a nice population of them. That's instilled in the culture. You know what I'm saying? You, you know, it, it's just how it goes. And that's a world that I'm going to be living in. You don't got to have no fucking Louis Vuitton on, walk around with jewelry, chains, and all that. And don't get it twisted. I like all that stuff. Over there, man you, you, man, you don't need all that. Matter of fact, you go over there playing around like that, they'll rob your ass. This video's about it. You know, so that's what I say, man. That's, that's going to be my reason 
for um, being occupied over there. Like I said, I, I got family in the States, you know, um, come over here and handle no business, see family and stuff like that. But guess what? My main residence is going to be South America. That's the truth. I am. My, the U.S. dollar stronger over there. I, I will get the best quality of life, the best quality of women based upon my status. Yeah. You get the best thing you can get for what you have, man. That's how this go. Absolutely. Yeah. So that's my reason why, man. You know, it's just, it's just, it's not congruent. It's incongruency. Yeah, I got to be accountable for being a leader and a provider and wouldn't stick my neck on the line. Well, guess what? I want the best motherfucking woman I can get. And I want one who ain't going to embarrass me. And I want one who's not going to be a liability when it comes to locking in and getting some money. I come from the bottom. I ain't letting no woman going out just, you know what I'm saying, having bad girl behavior fuck my money up. Oh, no, not me. That bitch get cut like a cord. Yeah, not this guy. Oh, no. no. I, you know what I'm saying? So that's my reason for it, man. Get your passports. Like I said before in the video, get your passports, travel. Find out if it's something that you might want to do eventually. You, you never know. But I think men need to go overseas and really see that worth. I think a lot of guys don't have a bunnies mindset. So when you get that tangible results, when you out there and they treat you like a man, a lot of the simping that you do in the States, that shit will stop. Because then you'll be woke and you're going to start be like, damn. These women are beautiful, way more beautiful, way more submissive. They give my program very more appreciative. Why am I dealing with that shit? Me, I already got the abundance mindset. When I go over there, oh, it's going to be on steroids, and I can't wait. I want my shit on steroids just like these women. Yes, sir. But, man, that's all I got for the day, man. I'll see you all in the next video. I'm out.